Hello YouTubers, it's my uh, first video in uh, quite a few months, just doing a hunting video on a uh, place I hunt up Essex called uh, Pete's Air Farm. Um, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out. Uh, it's quite a few acres of land he's got here. Um, I'm just going to go around see if I can get any pigeons, rabbits I've got my uh, camo stuff on as usual, like I said I've done quite a bit of hunting but I just haven't videoed it haven't been haven't had the time to do any videoing so uh, this is the first video in a long time so I uh, hope you enjoy catch you soon right, guys just found a nice little spot in the shade for a couple of minutes because uh, it's quite hot over here over in sunny England, believe it or not. Do actually have some hot days now and again. I reckon it's about 27, 28 degrees today, so it's quite hot. Um, I'll give you a quick show around the place. This is basically all the land we've got to hunt on. It's quite a bit. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find somewhere where the pigeons can fly out of because this hunt that I'm on is quite a hard place to hunt you can't get closer than 50 yards before pigeon spots you or even rabbits so um, really stalking is not a, an option here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around to find some uh, places where pigeons are roosting probably spook them off but then I've got uh, some pigeon decoys under my arm uh, pigeon decoys and I'm going to um, lay them down basically plot up somewhere and uh, hopefully the pigeons will come back in the same tree and I can uh, take a few out but um, we'll see how it goes I've hunted here a few times now and uh, not had much luck I've had one or two pigeons, never had a rabbit but um, like I said you can never get too close to them 50 yards maximum before they hear you and uh, that's uh, that's quite a hard place to hunt. So I uh, hope you in hope you enjoy the video. I'll uh, speak to you soon, guys. guys uh, found a nice little spot now uh, I'm gonna sit up here I've got my uh, day state air wolf with me today 0.22 so uh, these are the decoys I was on about um, I'm gonna stick a few of these out on the floor hopefully that will uh, trick some of the pigeons also got my uh, shooting shooting stand as well because uh, this gun can get a little bit heavy holding it for a little while so just helps a little bit just to uh, have something to support you on get a better shot and a cleaner kill so um, I'm going to sit up here and uh, hopefully see if anything comes along so I'll get back to you later guys alright guys uh, this is the uh, 
place where I'm going to set up just here so get quite a clear shot from here uh, put a few decoys down just uh, hopefully the uh, pigeons that will fly over will, uh, will see them and come down and feed uh, I'm going to set the camera up just over here because just over here there's a nice little bench so I'm going to sit back just there so from that bench to about there I'd say it's about 20 25 20 to 28 yards um, so perfect for a shot I'm gonna see uh, I'm gonna stay here for about 10 minutes to see if anything comes in and uh, if I have no luck then I'm gonna move on but um, like I said before I'm trying to stalk and uh, hunt on this on this site is uh, quite a hard place to like 50 yards is the closest you can get to a pigeon or a rabbit before they uh, spot you and and they're off so I mean I'll probably get a pigeon f from that distance but um, I like to hunt a bit closer you know a bit of a skill in, involved in hitting something at 50 yards and knowing you've killed it so uh, I'm gonna set up here and then see how it goes and I'll get back to you soon all right guys uh just set up and uh, I've already had one pigeon come down but um, I moved a bit too quick and it see me so I missed that one but basically a little setup it's just like this Done. so I've got the uh, magnification on ten times just the right magnification just to take one out so hopefully if uh, I'll get a few more come down then um, maybe I'll be, have a bit of luck um, there's definitely pigeons in the trees behind me but um, they don't seem to be coming down at the moment so I'm going to give it another like I said 10 minutes see what happens and then move on so I'll get back to you later guys Alright guys, change of plans, uh, been here for about 10 minutes now, uh, I've had a few birds that have been interested but uh, apart from that one that I had that came down and uh, I missed a shot, didn't even get a shot actually, uh, flew off, it's, it's seen me, it spooked it before I could even uh, get a shot off, but uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk around and I'm going to, uh, I can hear some baby birds calling out from a couple of trees just up there so obviously as soon as I get near them it's going to probably spook them and they're going to fly off but I'm going to set a few decoys up around the trees and um, sit up and see if anything comes back obviously if there's a uh, babies there there's going to be the mum's going to come back at some point so uh, I'm going to see what happens but uh, I'm absolutely sweating in this stuff it's definitely going to be getting hotter than this next week, so looking forward to it. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up and I'll get back to you soon. So, see you later, guys. These are all the tree lines. As you can see, uh, the tree line stretches all the way around the field, and uh, there's definitely pigeons in them but uh, like I said as soon as you get near they're off so uh, I'm just going to find a nice one to uh, set up and uh, hopefully I can get something Hi right, guys not much luck today with the hunt uh, been here for about four hours now and uh, I've had stuff coming over pigeons and uh, a few uh, blackbirds uh, magpies and that but couldn't get close enough to get a shot 
as soon as you uh, get within 50 yards they're off so uh, yeah, you have some unlucky days I've been here a few times and not caught a thing so it's just one of them things but what I'm going to do as well if it's not too busy I'm going to show you the uh, they've got a little range in here, 50 yard range an indoor range and an outdoor range so uh, if it's not too busy there's not a lot of people about what I'll do is I'll go in and show you the range the um, outside range you see you've got a seating area to shoot from some nice little mats there to rest on that's down range I believe it's 50 yards same the other side as well more seating areas and all the, way, all the way to the end this is the uh, the range got a few targets up high zoom into them a few up there a couple of targets up there and then you've got um, all types of targets down here Obviously you can stick your own uh, your own stuff up here as well if you want. Paper targets or anything you want. So you see people when using uh, clays down there to shoot at. Shotgun clays. So it's a nice little plinking range really. Um, and that there, that building there is the inside range which I'm going to show you in a little while. So yeah, you should check this place out. Uh, this is all the land you've got to um, hunt on. It goes on for miles. All the way over there. It's the end of the day now. I've uh, I didn't, didn't, didn't catch a thing, uh, but you get days like that anyway. Um, I was going to show you the inside of the um, 50 yard range, but I didn't get time in the end. There was just too many people uh, inside, it was absolutely cramming in, so that's my setup. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to show you some targets that I um, I hit and different pellets that I used. So basically showing you um, what pellets are good in the day state and what are bad really. Um, what I might do is I might upload all this when I get indoors and um, do a little breakdown of the results of all the pellets. Um, so yeah. I'll sort that out when I get in guys. I'll speak to you soon. Right, this is the uh, pellet review. I'm going to do, um, these are the pellets I shot today down at the range. Uh, it was the inside range uh, up to 50 yards but I was shooting at um, 35 yards today. Uh, basically just trying out the pellets. Every um, every target I've shot out I've, I've wrote on there. I've shot uh, 20 times magnification on every pellet. Uh, also the yards, 35 yards, I've done 10 pellets of each and um, basically the aim point I put on there was centre pretty much all of them were centre um, that I was aiming for uh, obviously some of the pellets didn't hit centre as you will find out I'm going to start from the worst pellets first up to the best pellets obviously um, it's going to vary in different guns but my gun these pellets didn't do too well um, and obviously there was other pellets on here that, that done excellent so I'm going to start with the uh, Gamo bullets now if I put these to one side the Gamo bullets um, these are the pellets here and this is the pellet there as you can see um, there's nothing on this sheet I couldn't actually get these 
into the barrel of my air rifle so um, I'm not going to say these are the worst because I didn't get a chance to shoot them which is not fair really uh, but these didn't even get shot um, these are like a copper pellet I don't know if they're fully made from copper or if they're just lined with copper um, I'll try and get a zoom in on that in a minute um, now these these pellets um, weren't cheap they cost me um, a little bit more than a normal pellet would cost so I'm a bit disappointed I couldn't even give them a go and shoot them um, they've got like a pointed head on them you can see um, so these ones I'm going to put down as the worst pellets purely because I couldn't get them in my in my barrel. Um, I'll zoom back out again. So these ones are um, worst off. I'll go for the next one now, which was the Gamo Rocket. Now these ones, um, as you can see, holes are sort of all over the place. Uh, yeah, my rockets. These were not too expensive, but this is the pellet here. Um, these were probably by far the worst. As you can see, there's no grouping at all on these. Um, the actual grouping is pretty bad. And this was aiming at the centre, as you can see again, centre point. Um, 35 yards again, 10 pellets. That's the pellet himself. The pellet's got uh, like a ball bearing at the top. Um, it's supposed to penetrate the target harder. Um, it's lead, a lead pellet with a copper ball bearing in the top. Um, as you can see, this will focus. As you can see, it's a lead, lead pellet with a copper ball bearing. These were the worst, so that focuses in. Them ones, um, for a my day state, I'm obviously not going to buy them again. Other guns are different, so some people might have fantastic results with them. Also, by the way, I use um, power, power lube on all my pellets. Um, I don't go mental with it, I just stick a little tiny bit in the pot, give them a gentle shake and uh, does help a little bit. Next next ones are the JSB Polymags, if I zoom out a bit. JSB Polymags, as you can see again, you've got, this is all aiming at the centre point. By the way I was on a rest as well with these so um, there's no sort of wobbling or anything going on, these just on a rest. Uh, there's even one down here. Uh, the pellet itself are here. Now from the start I knew these were going to be crap anyway but I thought I'd give them a try. Um, if I'll zoom in again, give you a bit, bit of a better look on the actual target itself. So I was actually aiming for here, centre point, as you can see there spread all over the place and once again this was aiming centre at 35 yards on um, 20 times magnification um, the pellets themselves are basically like a again a uh, lead pellet with a plastic um, plastic tip now unless these plastic tips are glued in place exactly the same spot on every pellet they're going to vary and they're not going to be that great but they're supposed to be a hunting pellet so they're supposed to do quite a lot of damage I haven't hunted with them yet because I couldn't rely on them so these pellets I mean these pellets didn't do great in my uh, air rifle so these will be another one I'll be staying away from like I said before these pellets might do fantastic in other people's rifles um, so that's that one 
Next we've got the Thunderbolts. I'll zoom out again. Thunderbolts. These also didn't do too great. Another hunting pellet. You've got uh, a target there, a hole there, and just made a bit of a mess of this. There's even one up there. I don't know if you can quite see it, but there's a hole there. Um, the Thunderbolts, I found these on the site. Uh, quite a heavy pellet, quite a big pellet as well. Um, like I said, these are lead again. Um, they're not a big company, I don't think, that make these. I might be wrong, but if I zoom in, give you a bit of a better look on the actual target itself. Sort of see aiming centre point, and it's all over the place. 35 yards, 20 times mag. The actual pellet itself, it's got like a rounded head on it. It's quite long. It's longer than um, I'd say it's longest, the longest pellets out of all, all the pellets I've got. Um, the weight of them are um, the weight of them is 13 grain. So these will probably be staying away from as well. I'm going to use the pellets up anyway just to get rid of them. But um, if I'm going out hunting, I'm not going to rely on these sort of pellets to uh, kill anything. Uh, too in inaccurate. Next pellet, or the next target, we've got the H and N coppers. Now, I'm a bit wary of copper because of um, copper can damage the barrel of your air rifle. Um, these I was expecting to do a bit better than they did actually. I'm a bit disappointed. Because um, H&N is supposed to be a decent make, but um, quite a tight fit in my my rifle anyway. Um, sort of had to force them down the barrel, not too hard, but I had to give them a bit of a bit of a force to get them in. Um, if it was any if it was any harder, like the other ones, for example, the um, the Gamo PBAs, these I couldn't even force these down the barrel, and I didn't want to push too hard in case they uh, damaged the barrel. These ones. These ones, I had to force them a little bit, not too much. Um, as you can see, this one sort of all over the place again, aiming at centre point, and you got it. If I zoom in, you can see a little bit better. That's sort of aiming at centre point, they've not done too great. 35 yards again pellet itself just out of shot that's the pellet itself um, now I don't know if this is all copper or whether it's just copper lined and a lead pellet I'm not 100% on that but I would imagine judging how hard it was to push it into the barrel it's probably all copper um, so yeah like I said before these weren't the best and I'm probably a bit wary of using them actually I don't want to damage the barrel of my rifle um, next we've got on the list we've got Gamo Platinum uh, Gamo, Gamo Platinum these I believe are made of tin these pellets so they're ultra light um, and I'm not too sure, but when I ordered these off the internet, I'm not too sure if these actually put your air rifle over the legal foot pounds because of the weight of the pellets. It's obviously going to be travelling faster. Um, these are ultra, ultra light, these pellets. But they didn't do too great, I think, because they're so light, they sort of just go all over the place. There was no wind, obviously, I was shooting on an inside range. So there was no wind to obviously compensate for the pellet itself, but where they're so light, I think they just sort of fly everywhere. And as you can see, they sort of there's one over here, over here as well. Um, 
just zoom in for you so you can see that. All over the place. So yeah, again a bit disappointed. Um, these are the pellets themselves. That's the tin they actually come in. The label's actually on the back of the tin. Um, I believe you can get these off of eBay. This is where I got these from. The pellet itself. It's there. I'll try and zoom in a little bit more actually if I can. If it focuses. That's the pellet itself. It's a tin pellet like I said before. Um, so yeah, this not too great. But like I said, all guns are different so someone else might have these and they might be spot on. Next we've got Logan Penetrators. Um, Logan Penetrators. Yeah, again these are another hunting pellet. Um, quite heavy. Quite a heavy pellet. Um, these weren't brilliant but I didn't expect them to be too good because of the weight of the pellet. Um, these are uh, what are the grams on these? 16, 16 grain. That's the pellet themselves. Zoom in again so you can have a better look. That's the target itself. There's a few over, a few over here. Um, that's the box they come in, and the pellet himself so it's like a rounded head, mushroom shaped head, and um, sort of like a short, short pellet. That's that one. Next we've got H&N Field Target. Now these um, these ones, we're starting to get into the ones that are not too bad now. They go from absolutely atrocious to not too bad to the best. These ones didn't do too bad in there. There was a few that sort of went all over the place. You've got one there, you've got one down here as well. Um, pellet themselves have got like a rounded head on them. Um, H&M is supposed to be a good, a good, pretty decent make. Um, again these are lead pellets. Um, zoom in again so you can see. I must get used to this zoom. That's the uh, centre point again, obviously aiming for 35 yards. Pellets themselves, like a rounded head on them. So they, they weren't too bad. Not too bad in my rifle. They say these are a hunting pellet as well, but even though it's field target on the back of the tin, it's like a hunting pellet. Right, next we've got Webley Acupel. So these ones, these ones are again lead pellets. I believe that these are made in the same factory. I might be wrong, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe these are made in the same factory as the Day State Range Masters, which are here. And if you compare them together, you can't actually really tell the difference. So I'm going to come to them in a minute. Um, again, these didn't do too bad. They weren't all over the place. Nice little group just there. One there as well. Um, so like I said, we're coming to the stage where these pellets didn't do too bad. So I probably wouldn't buy them again, but I'm going to use them up and I probably could could use these as uh, for hunting as well. Could rely on them. Uh, quick zoom in again. 
that's the um, obviously the grouping it done Acupel obviously made by Webley pellet himself rounded head lead pellet and I'll just grab that other pellet quickly just a comparison now this one I've just put next to it this one here is the Range Master Li and there's not a lot of difference in them when you look at them um, so yeah that's the Acupel next we've got RWS RWS again not too bad um, it's ripped the paper but it's quite a nice group um, RWS now these load perfectly into my gun nice snug fit but again I don't really like them that much they have a double skirt on these as well which I don't know if I can quite have a look if I can get it up there without it if it can focus focus that's not going to focus but these have a double skirt on them so inside inside they've got uh, one line and then another line in so um, not too heavy uh, these are 0 0.94 grain um, so yeah that's that one I'll zoom in again quickly just to show you the pellet that's the pellet himself these are rounded head as well as you can see I don't know if it will zoom in on that double skirt they are it's focusing now so you can see it right next we have day state allies um, now these again are almost similar to the Acupels like I've said before I'm not going to zoom in on this pellet because um, there's no point you've seen the Acupels they're pretty much similar the grouping on this is uh, not too bad as well as you can see didn't do too bad 35 yards again so I'm going to put that one to one side next we've got RWS Super Sport, uh, sorry, Super Point. These are similar to the RWS I just showed you, but the only difference is these have got a point on rather than a rounded head. Um, I think they weigh the same. Yep, they weigh the same by the looks of it. Uh, didn't do too bad. Again, grouping weren't too bad. A few hole, just just one sort of hole missed there. Uh, not a bad group. If it wasn't for that one, these would have been pretty good. Um, quick zoom in on it for you so you can have a look centre point aim 35 yards super points and that's the pellet again I think these have got a double skirt as well no these ones haven't actually got a double skirt so slightly different um, that one. Next we have Diablo um, JSB Diablo Exact. These are jumbos. These didn't do pretty bad. Group's nice. You can see there, aiming centre. Uh, that's the group there. So quick zoom in on these. Again, these are all lead pellets. Um, that's the grouping. So not too sad. That's the pellet themselves. The weight of everything, and again, round-headed pellet. Um, not a bad pellet at all. 
So yeah, I'll probably buy them again, them pellets. I'm starting to go into the pellets that I would probably buy again. Um, next we've got Gamo PBA. Now, all the Gamo pellets I've shown you so far, I bought these all at once off of eBay. Um, so it was a bit of a it was a bit of a trial and error really to see if they were any good. Um, and these pellets again, these have got a ball bearing in the top, um, so they're for impact really. Um, so maybe hunting this would do a lot of impact. This would punch straight through and out the other side. Um, these again, they're made of tin. Actual pellets made of tin, and it's got a copper. I believe it's copper. I might be wrong, but I think it's a copper ball bearing in the top. I'll zoom in in a minute. And these done pretty good. I was surprised actually. I mean, this was aiming centre point, bang on centre point. Probably because they're so light. Um, like I said, they're made of tin, so I know they've got the extra extra weight of the ball bearing on the top. But I was surprised how well he's done. So these are definitely buy these again for my rifle. Maybe different in someone else's rifle. They might be useless in someone else's rifle. Um, in for you. So that that's the uh, that's the nice little group we've got there. Pretty good. I was impressed with that. These are the pellets, and as you can see, there's the ball bearing on the top. Tin pellet. And again, these are very light. Not as light as the. They are not as light as the platinums. These are the platinums. And I can compare them both together if you want. The difference between the platinum is obviously the platinum hasn't got a lead ball bearing or copper ball bearing, so should I say, in the top. So they are slightly lighter, but not as accurate. So yeah, well impressed with them ones. I would buy them again. More expensive, may I add. These are um, probably double the price of what on average a pellet would cost. A box of pellets, should I say. So, um, you've got to take that into consideration when you're buying them. Next, we've got the Daystay FT. Um, these are field target uh, pellets, so you'd expect them to be pretty good. And they were actually pretty good, so. I mean the group in there, apart from one stray pellet there, I mean I wouldn't even call that a stray, that's that's pretty much in the same sort of group, grouping area. Again, centre point aiming, it's come down here. Uh, base state FTs, not much difference looking than the other ones to be honest with you, but obviously these are made uh, slightly different I would imagine maybe not mass produced like the other ones maybe they're, they're made on a different type of machine quick zoom in again grouping's not too bad on these that's the actual pellet case and the pellet themselves lead pellet again rounded head um, so yeah they didn't do too bad I'll buy them again I mean, all these ones that I'm showing you from now on, I would probably buy again, purely because they're done pretty good in my uh, my rifle. Next, we've got air arms. Now, the air arms, um, air arms are probably the best I'd say in my in my gun. These are the ones I use all the time for everything, um, hunting. I mean, absolutely everything. These are these are cheap as well. So these are the Diablo fields. Um, so yeah, again, not a bad grouping. Pretty tight group there. That's, I'll zoom in again on that in a minute. Pellets there. So yeah, pretty well. I was pretty impressed with that really. Um, that's the grouping right there, which didn't do too bad. Aim centre point and 35 yards again. There are the fields. Um, these are going to be the pellets I'm going to be using all the time in my gun, like I said. And pellet again. This has got a rounded, uh, this dome headed pellet. 
the weight I believe on this is 16 grains that's that one next next one we've got Falcon Accuracy Plus um, these ones again really really good group tight grouping aim center point these pellets are a lot lighter than the other pellets um, and a very very tight group in there I mean these don't understand me these are the Falcon Accuracy Plus perfect in my rifle um, like I said they are quite light I believe they are where's the weight on these these are 13.4 grains I'll zoom in again for you so you can see that's the grouping pretty decent group there that's the actual pellets themselves and again dome headed lead pellet let's just turn that to its side so yeah these again would we'll buy these pretty good right now this next one I was really surprised H&N Barracuda these are a new pellet I think they've been out for a bit now I didn't expect these to do well at all really, these are a hunting pellet and um, I was actually really surprised um, they're quite heavy these pellets um, these are 19.09 grains so they're a lot heavier than other pellets these are designed for hunting only hollow point pellet as you can see by the picture the pellet itself is there now these aim in centre point and the grouping on these are actually quite surprising very very tight group sorry on this one actually this is this is the only different one this one I was actually aiming centre point I wasn't aiming centre point I was actually aiming here on this one as you can see I put aim centre point that's where I was actually aiming to compensate for the weight of the pellet um, I obviously aimed a bit higher and aiming at that point obviously landed at 35 yards there so Again, I'm very surprised. Um, I mean, I probably would buy these again. That's the grouping. Aim point is just there. Uh, 35 yards. Pellets themselves. Barracudas. And in the top, as you can see, I don't know if I can zoom in a little bit more on these about it blurring these are hollow point so designed to obviously explode on impact do more damage on the kill um, it's almost like a Phillips screwdriver head on the top of these and you can see they're quite thick as well obviously to add to the weight but yeah these were, these were surprising now I really expected these to do pretty bad actually and uh, they actually, uh, they actually come out pretty good. Last but not least, these are the best pellets and these are the pellets I use all the time. Um, the air arms, as I said before, air arms in my gun are perfect. And if you look at this group here, I mean it's not much bigger than one pellet. Um, these are the hunters and they actually come out better than the fields. The hunters have a pointed head, the fields which are there have a rounded head, I'll zoom in in a minute and show you the difference um, like I said these are these are really accurate these these pellets in my rifle um, so these are what I use all the time quick zoom in on them for you I mean that grouping, if I put the pellet inside there's the pellet I'll just move that a little bit that's the grouping on the on that pellet so like I said yeah if I just move that about you can see how good the group is on that and that's 10 pellets as well 10 pellets through one hole all of these were 10 pellets um, these are the fields uh, sorry these are the hunters um, like I said before these might be different in someone else's gun they might be absolutely rubbish but that's the pointed head to them point that to one side, as you can see pointed head, 
this one I'm going to put next to it is the Diablo Field. It was a rounded head, so I mean, I don't, I don't think the weight, the way, yeah, they both weigh the same amount, so I mean, there's not much difference in weight. It's just obviously one's pointed, one's not. So yeah, that's basically the uh, review on the pellets that I've done down the range. Uh, uh, the 50 yard range I was shooting at 35 yards there was no wind to compensate um, so yeah pretty impressed with all them I uh, hope this helps you I mean it's obviously only going to be for my gun every gun's different but I mean I hope this helps other people out if they're going to buy a day state they might find that um, start with the Diablos uh, Air Arms Diablos and then uh, see how it goes I suppose Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to uh, rate and subscribe and I'll catch you later.